What's up guys and welcome back to Dieter Plays. We are here in Lumia Legacy and I want to give you an update TP training guide. So we already did a training guide uh, when it was the first parts and all of those, those trainers and everything that we had going on there. So right now what we want to do here is a TP training guide for all the Lumians and then also the uh, trainer that you find here in Route 5. So if you want to do your TP training, uh, I will show you where to get all these. So uh, just moving on right now directly to the new Lumians that we've got so we'll just start here in the in the Lumipedia and with what we've got first so the slugling these ones can be found usually in route 4 pretty easy to find uh, those ones when you kill a slugling you get a plus special defense on your TP training now if some of you guys are wondering about what the TP training actually is when you go here and you go into look at your Lumian you go to the training you can uh, you you everybody actually has TP training but not everybody can see it in order to see and kind of focus and know exactly where these points are going so you can actually reveal that you have to get this uh, bonus little uh, pass it's a uh, advanced stat viewer and it's only 50 robux it's definitely worth it to be able to see that and to know where your TP uh, training is unless you want to go through and try to keep track of it on your own for each Lumion but it's kind of hard to do that and it's only 50 robux so uh, basically there's different TP things that you can grow the health the energy the attack the defense special attack special defense and speed or at least that's what we're gonna call them uh, we can actually gain energy now like we can actually gain energy you can see on my Valkaloa, you can gain energy with some TP training. So we're going to show you how to do that and which ones uh, to do. So we've already gone over now the Slugling, but the Slugling is plus, plus the special uh, defense. Now the next one that you're going to run into in the wild is the Kaboonga. Now if you find the Kaboonga, it should be in Route 4 mostly, and when you beat one of those, you get a plus speed. Uh, you always will just get plus one for each one that you beat, unless you have your boosters on. If you have your Lumi boost, you can actually do the training points times three and you get three points for each one that you uh, that you beat in battle instead of just one so moving on to the next ones that we've got over here uh, available the next one you'll run into in the wild here is the rock walla it's like a rock koala an earth type if you beat one of those uh, these can be found usually in route 5 pretty easily these will give you plus health so they will give you plus one or plus three if you've got your boosters on so rock koalas are for health trading the next one that we've got here that we will run into in the wild is the gum pod so the rock koala and the gum pod both found on route 5 i think the gum pods found a little bit easier when you're closer to the water in that sort of area in route 5 uh, when you beat one of these gum pods it will give you plus normal defense so if you're wondering which one's the normal defense uh, just to give you guys a little reminder over here in the training uh, that's this one right here the one with the little fist so we call that one the normal I call the other one the special some of them have more focus on normal attacks some of them have more special attacks some of them have both like this one seems to have more normal attacks but if you can kind of focus your training on a certain type of attack that's usually a good way to do it so let's see what else do we have here the stuff that we'll find inside the cave that's connected from route 5 so what we're gonna find is uh, Sklava in there is one of them you're going to find. Now this one, if you beat, is actually an energy training one. So yeah, finally, we have one that we can train for energy. Uh, we haven't had one up to this point that we can use to train for energy to uh, build that up. So now we actually have that. Uh, Sklava is your uh, your choice if you want to go for that. Uh, now what we have next is the Kratol, or the Kratol. Um, if we take the Kratol, and we defeat that guy, also found in the cave, you get plus on the special attack. So the special attack, again, we're gonna look at that one. This special attack attribute is this one right here with the little arrow next to it. So you will get plus TP points if you beat a Kratol with that. Now, the next one that we've got in here is the uh, the Igneal. Now, Igneals are pretty rare and you find them in the cave. Usually, if you find yourself an Igneal, you're gonna wanna catch it and you're not gonna want to defeat it. Uh, because they're pretty rare to come across and once they evolve they turn into this uh, this guy right here Which is pretty cool, but if you do defeat an igneal as you can see in the video 
I have made sacrifices. I killed an igneo so I could find out exactly what the what the uh, what the TP training was, and it was plus on the energy as well. So this igneo right here, if you beat them, they're plus the energy attribute. So there's the skill lava and the igneo, which will give you energy. But again, I highly recommend if you run into the igneos, try to just catch those guys and uh, and hold on to them and use them for training because something tells me hopefully they will actually be pretty good in battle in the future. All right, now for this trainer over here, when you run to the top of the stairs in Route 5, I think this person's name is Jenna. You can actually leave Route 5 and come back and keep battling this person over and over. So when you battle Jenna, Jenna has a Cynomoth and a Terrafly. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but this battle definitely is very useful when it comes to TP training. You get plus two regular attack, plus one regular defense, plus two special attack, and plus one on speed. So if you guys are doing the training to get EXP uh, when you're doing this it might kind of build up something that you don't want necessarily as far as training for PvP battles so you might have to end up going back and uh, erasing one of those so yeah you might have to go back and get rid of one of those so you don't want defense or special attack you might have to do some other training later on uh, but this is a very useful person to go up against when it comes to experience training so yeah you get two uh, special attack two regular attack plus one speed and plus one defense from this person so I hope this has been helpful for you guys if you're new would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can keep you guys updated about all the cool stuff here in Lumion Legacy and we can do some battles and I can do some giveaways and stuff like that so thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you guys later